The best the internet's it's Captain Mintbeard. Here we are. We are in the cemetery, which uh, is the final level, I believe. So yeah, let's get ready. We gotta open the wow. gate. Look at the storm system building above that tower. Which the I'm, last I'm time wondering. We saw that kind of atmospheric disturbance. Fuck, oh, oh, it's not gonna just let me cheese it. That would've been nice. There's a secret... ...near us. That way, okay. Oh, what's it? Whistling bust of Mouse. Predictor Mouse was a damned sneak and was always up to something. His bust, carved by the Italian genius Marscapone, is the exact same way. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Get the good old pack. I don't expect this to be easy. Of course not. Word. Come on, guys. I am a ghost buster. Okay. It's near the end of the game. So I've kind of like, at this point, more or less proven myself. Hello. I saw you. I ain't afraid no ghost. I don't get it. We shut down the Mandela. How can all this still be happening? Rosarian Codex, it's written that a blood sacrifice and a tremendous amount of spiritual energy are needed to generate the supreme destructor form. Mm. A destructor form? Again? Peck probably couldn't draw sufficient energy from the mandala before we shut it down. He found an alternate source in our containment unit. The energy of the escaped ghosts from our grid might be enough to produce a cross-dimensional event in itself. Yes, and with Alyssa here, I'm sure her Shandor ancestors aren't far behind. Yeah, probably not. <clears throat> Freaking pick. I keep saying to myself, man, why can't I jump? And then it's like, well, yeah, you know, like they mentioned a little bit ago. 100 pound proton pack. That's why. Hmm. Hello. Oh, there's some belt, some uh, runes. Okay, great. So, for the record, I have absolutely no clue where I'm going. That's not terrifying. <laughs> okay, the statue originally resided with the many others in the fountain in a quiet Gaza near the Monte Vecchio. Stories of stories have it that during World War II, a squad of black shirts was brutalizing a woman and her small children. Wow. When the children fell, it struck the rim of the fountain and died instantly. The fountain's cherub stirred to life at that moment, wailing and crying, beseeching. Perche il duce, perche. I don't know what that means. 
Indeed, the stone cherubs never stopped and made such an awful and pain-splitting sound that the fountain had to be demolished by explosives. A single stone angel head was gathered up by villagers and hidden in a deep well until Mussolini was overthrown. At the exact moment, the head stopped crying. Wow. You know, out of everything we found, that's probably, um... The most dark. By like a long, long shot. <laughs> By a very, very broad margin. That's the darkest thing so far. Okay, so... I'm just kind of sticking with, as usual, good adventurers always go left because I don't know where I'm going. There's something hostile this way, though, so that must mean we're going the right direction. Or there's a secret. Another one. Ghostbusters mug and balloon. Wow, 1989, the Ghostbusters offered the souvenir mug and balloon as a service premium during the comeback phase of their career. It's assumed that one of these escapee ghosts from the containment unit snatched these and carried them to the Central Park Cemetery. Even ghosts like to pick up a souvenir occasionally. That's neat. There was also some hostile energy around here. Coming from that direction. Also from here, so I guess we're getting close to wherever we need to be going because we're getting near stuff that is angry. Like that. Am I gonna go in? Yes, I am. Because I am a fool. And it looks like your standard black slime. Okay. trying to get, but hey, you know what? For a little bit of fun. We're gonna do it. Aw. Maybe if I get it right on the head. No? Alright, whatever. Moving on. Moving right along the dee 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 well, I mean, any of you assholes could be helping me, I'm just saying.
I am on it. Gate okay, control. Is that not what I'm supposed to do? Am I not supposed to tether something? Uh, maybe. There we go. <clears throat> Piece of pie. Cake pie. I'll go with the intern. Nobody should wander around alone in this place. We'll meet you guys Thanks, later Ray. on. Explore the cemetery with Ray. It's like it's your, you know. We need to get out of here. Like a date, you know. Exploring the cemetery with Ray. They aren't very happy about us being here. Clearly not. But which way are we supposed to go? Can I? No. Ray, why are you following me, man? I'm just, you know, why are you following me? I don't know where I'm going. <clears throat> Good adventures. Always go left. And I, that was apparently the way I'm supposed to go. <clears throat> oh, fun. We got zombies. You, didn't you? They think they're sneaky. Let's spread out and flank them. Yeah, that seems like a great plan. So what do we got? Vermin, Dispersible, Boson Dart. Uh, what were those other things? Oh man, it doesn't have them in order. Irritating. Mm. Oh wait, there we go. Cultist. Doesn't... Doesn't care for the Mison Collider. Eyes high. Oh, okay. Change plans. Flanking means I go this way and you go that way. I know you do, but that's basic stuff. Ray, I, I need you to, like, chill out, man. Believe it or not, I'm actually better at this than you. It's on your left! More than I expected. I think you're gonna be alright. Yeah, Ray, check this out. Run! Oh, really? I can't tether these guys? Lame. Okay. <laughs> that was great. Above you. It's not alone. That's a nice start. On a piece of that one. Ray. Man down, man down. Ray, where are you, Ray? I got one. Eyes 
Cool, get in there. Cultist ass. Cultist ass cultist. Alright. That was fun. Oh. Take care of that. Here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Ray, at any point, if you want to chime in, you know, say, let's go this way. I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally listening. We probably should be making our way towards the sky hole. That's just me. Oh, wait, this is this is where we came from. This is the unobvious path. <clears throat> oh right, and then they put a bunch of these tombstones in our way, thinking that's going to deter us. Your mom should run away. But she didn't. Any secrets? No? Okay. We burn it? No. Can we even set that on fire? I don't, I don't think we can. Come on. Come on, walk around it. Do some path climbing here, buddy. Okay, nope. Cannot lift trees. No, I tried that before, but I thought it was worth one more try just to be sure. Whoa, hello. Yep. I'm on your team. Up high. Make a hole. Close one. Dude, Ray, stop jumping in front of me. Like, what are you doing? Uh. The game crashed. Huh. I guess there was just too much awesomeness occurring. Okay. Uh huh. Ghostbusters? Hello? Uh, okay. Hold on. I don't need to say anything, but I, I hope you feel some shame. For what you just did. I feel shame for a lot of things, okay? Um, this is just one of the long list of things I feel shame for. Wow, did you see that? That was hilarious. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I've got to, I've got to go clip my. Whatever you did made my controller decide shit. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Things. What did it decide? Okay, so it looks like I am perhaps not set too far back. Not real sure. But Ray is with me, so I mean, I don't. We, we can't have in. Hold on.
It does this every time. It resets to 30 FPS every single time. Okay. But yeah, that wasn't too far back. Yep, that was the thing we couldn't move. Damn it, Ray. Why are you running in like a crazy person? Here, come on, Ray, I got a trap over here. Yes, you can you can you can take You can take credit. Get in the trap, dude. Alright, there's one. Where's the other one? Stop running around the corner like a punk. Come on now. Okay, any more? I think there's one more. Yeah, way over there. Actually, you know what? Right tool for the right job. Wait, where did he even go? No, I don't want to... Did we pick the trap up? I guess we did. Whoops. So yeah, that's just something to keep an eye on if you plan to play this game and you want to play it in 60 FPS. Just keep in mind that it's kind of a jerk about resetting that. <clears throat> Actually, hold on, Ray. Oh, our man, are we stuck? Now that we've walked over the threshold, are we kind of committed? Okay. I just wanted to see if there was anything out here real quick. But hey, at least the autosave is pretty good, you know, didn't lose much. Okay, we've got to be getting near the end. That's all you. 
What do you mean it's all on me? What do you mean it's all me, Ray? <laughs> Well, Ray, there's this thing I've been talking about. Oh, wait, ever since I... Hold on. Son of a bitch. Okay. There we go. Now my face is more adequately lit. All right. Wow. So, for, for the last episode of Ghostbusters, I guess we're just going to have a shit show. <laughs> I guess that's the vibe. Yeah, they appear to be indestructible. But anyways, Ray, I was saying, um, it's called Good Adventures Always Go Left. Seems to be a pretty good method for getting where you need to go. A large hole, great. So, we found your mom. Just kidding. Right. Like, where are you even? Ray? Ray, where did you go? Oh, okay. You rang his bell, cadet. Yep, boson dart. Dude, come on. I think you're gonna be all right. It keeps wanting me to equip the PKE meter. I'm not sure why though. Okay, yes, I know. I've got to find the guy who has the thing. I know. I know. Good adventures always go left. It doesn't always work, but it frequently does. Especially if you're mindful of places where you have previously turned left. And you're usually fine. You got him! Never saw what hit him. Yep, it was a boson dart. That's what I hit him with, Ray. It's on your left! <laughs> ah, easy there, Bulldog. Give the rest of us a chance. <laughs> Well, I mean... There's the key! It's too heavy to carry ourselves. Get it back to the gate so we can keep going! Come on. I'm surprised this isn't something we've had to do more often. To be completely honest. Oh, fun. What are you, let's see, focused animator, dispersible, doesn't like shock blast, okay. Can I get out of this feed, please, thanks. Wait, Ray, why are you... Yep. Did it take the key? Where'd the key go? Alright, there it is. Oh, so, yeah. I'm surprised we haven't had to do a lot more. I'm on your team! Dude, well, get out of my 
fucking way, Ray. For like the hundredth time. Jeez, no wonder Bankman hates you guys. Like, low-key hates you guys. Like, not... Like, I'm sure he loves you, but he's like, God, you guys are terrible. Like, you see me trying to pick up the thing. Wait a minute. Oh, I get it now. This has been bugging me. When the necromantic shockwave summoned Gozer back to our plane, why didn't he assume a more effective destructor form immediately? I mean, the Marshmallow Good Man question. is scary, sure, but there has to be a better way to destroy the world. It's simple. When he enters our plane of existence, he must be locked into that form from our first encounter. One destructor form per god per dimension. I like it. Sounds like the kind of symmetry these things tend to operate on. Hey, so maybe I didn't choose such a bad destructor after all, huh? No, no, it's okay, Ray. You, you don't have to feel guilty about screwing up. It's okay. Look, up there. It's getting worse. This isn't the Central Park I'm used to. You still in your wallet? Bleh. Still have your wallet. That's a great line. Just occasional sweets. How do we get through here? Hmm. Here we got a goodie. Strange black fruited tree. Fruit matures and it's gone in a puff of smoke. Hmm. Extremely rare and delicate ghost fruit tree was imported from the deepest swamps of Louisiana by horticulturist Fran Abernathy. Abernathy hybridized the plant with other strains that. That she never revealed to make it hardier and easier to grow in slightly less satanic climates. Nice. Okay. That means one of two things. Either we're in trouble or we're dinner. Is there a difference? <laughs> We have a test of proton packs in the ring. That's what the recruit is doing right now. Oh, great. Great! Wait a minute. I'm wearing one, too. <laughs> That's true, Ray. How's it going so far? Do you smell any burning or experience any painful tingling? You'll be the first one to know. Or the second. Mm. Yeah. Airstrike! Take those flyers out! Be a whiner, but uh, it's kind of a lot going on right now. on the same thing right now.
That's for you, slimy. So you're right. We got this. It's all good. Ah, easy there, Bulldog. Give the rest of us a chance. Alright, so what else we need to bust here? Alright, so there's the creepy tree. So now where are we going? Hmm. I mean, I guess generally we're heading towards that. The giant sky pillar of doom. But didn't we come in from over here? Thanks. Oh, yeah. Okay, this guy again. It's all good, Ray. It's all good. We need to get out of here. Yeah, no kidding. We're close. Yeah, we are. Grave monster, huh? Okay. To revive me in a minute here. Stay calm, help's coming. Could be trouble. Yep. Yeah, back into a corner. need more than two guys for this right hand right here. Kidding, Ray. Jeez is a good word. Look at them all. Oh, and then Ray died. Okay. Feeling third. What? We better get a scan. All right. So we're dealing with several problems. Okay. We're gonna walk along this wall, and then the guy's gonna bust through. Things first, take care of the big guy. Above you. Okay, get the trap out. I got you. Okay, this part's just gonna kind of suck, I think. Find some cover, he says. 
One thing at a time. Up there. Find some cover. We ain't got time for that, Ray. We don't have time for cover. Crap, where is he? It's not alone. Where's the one that I had that was almost dead? Get in the trap. Okay, nice and easy now. Nice and easy, my ass. Done here. Above you. <sighs> Could be trouble. Look behind you. Ow! Just a minute, Ray. Ooh, man. <sighs> Look behind you. Take it apart. Never saw what hit him. Uh uh. Above you. You own that. Jesus, why is this guy like Okay, I've got a beat on him. Okay, finally. Come on, let's go. Okay. Oof. Alright. Well, hello there. Rick, you guys alright? Man, there ain't nothing dead in this room. Thanks for joining the party. They're throwing everything they have at us to stop us from getting to that mausoleum. That's as far as I can go. You guys got a clear path. Ray, readings here are extremely unstable. Energy from the mandala and the escaped ghost is building up to a flashpoint. We don't have much time. Okay, so how do we get over there? Sure don't. Sure don't, Mr. Ackroyd. Mm. Man, the gray 
keeps pushing up through here really did a number on this place. Walter Peck is going to have a lot to answer to from the city parks department. If we can prevent the apocalypse, that is. Yeah, it's a pretty big if. I'm down here. Iowa Shandor. Okay, well, Ray is down. I'll look at that in a minute. They got me! They got me! Wow! Very impressive. Whoa! The kid has some game! Okay. So, let's see. Goal of Evo Shandor. Once its society was too sick to survive, Shandor created a cult decay to bring out the world. Born a thousand followers when he died, and made sure he didn't turn into fashion. Following hours of his rituals, his body was carefully placed in a dramatic, unnerving mausoleum. In, however, time and decay did him what they do for all, with one exception. They rest in pieces. Shandor doesn't rest in peace, and his skull occasionally lapses into ranting fits and odd soliloquies on the disappointment and faded glory. Oh, great. That's not, uh, disgusting. Or disturbing. At all. Sound are much more, much, 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 much more effective. Much, 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 much more effective. Okay. Put the hose on him, Rook. Slime it is, okay. There's a bunch of ghosts just hanging out up there. Okay. Yo, new guy! We've tried everything. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. Uh -huh. Well, let's see. Stone Angel Gate. Can I not? In such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. All right, so, so I I remember yeah, you this. Check out that side. I'm picking up something odd here. What's your pick? No, I don't want to do that. An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh, 12 o'clock high. Uh huh. Hey, hey, buddy. Come here. Come here. Hold still. Hold still. They're too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt them. Wow. Go pick one. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away but from the echo. I guess it kind of work. I wholeheartedly agree with Ray. More precisely, their little stone angels capable of attaining speeds of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, which is us. Come on, Alright, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, I remember seeing something about this. So basically what I'm going to have to do... Way back here. And, uh... Come out and start the scene. We've tried everything. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it Come down here and just kind of grapple them and hit them into the gate. Well, in such an extreme situation, I mean, there's nowhere where you're safe, but this is the closest to safe you are. Is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh, blah, blah, guys. They're too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt them. Here, go kick them. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the Ecto. I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, their little stone angel is capable of attaining speeds of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, which is us. I'm a cocky angel. Man, I'm going back to Sunday. The particle throwers aren't doing anything to them. Tether them and smash them into something. Yeah, that's the plan. That's what I'm trying to do here. Think that, but come on, Ray. On your left. Follow my lead. Okay, can't tell if I'm actually slamming them into the gate or not. Hook them together. We're getting there. How about some slime tethering? Slime tethering, if I can get to that kind of like accurate hit, yeah, maybe. Alright, let's give this one more shot. And then we're gonna, if we can't get it this time, we're gonna just take us a break. They want me to slime tether, are they insane? I mean, it could work. It could work. We've tried everything. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. <laughs> well, it's such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. Why can't I? What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Come on, buddy. Uh, 12 o'clock high. They're too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt them. Peter, go kick them. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the Ecto. I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, the little stone engines capable of attaining speeds of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, which is us. Okay. Wow, come on, Ray. The particle throwers aren't doing anything to them. Tether them and smash them into something. That's what I was doing. All right, one more shot. This is supposed to like, yeah. Like real talk, I remember watching. Um, I have said more than once during this that I do watch Super Beard Bros, and they did do this recently. We've tried everything. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. <laughs> well, in such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our so I'm going to stand yeah, behind this tree. Check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. And kind of like juke it out. An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. You can toss a pit so you might on. just break loose. Uh, 12 o'clock high. They're too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt you. Peter, go kick them. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the Ecto. I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, they're the stone Jesus. Is capable of attaining speeds of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, which is us. Come on, help your aim. Man, I'm going back to the The particle throwers aren't doing anything to them. Tether them and smash them into something.
Dude, Ray, get out of the way, Ray. Get out of the way, Ray. Looks like a good place for slime tethering. It, it's, it looks, but it's not. Follow my lead. Winston, it's, it's good, I got this. So let's take a little break. <laughs> let's take a break and uh, take another whack at this in, uh, in just a minute.